Twitter Nigeria took time out, out of their non-busy schedule to um, drag Eniola Badmos over the content of a leaked DM. For what we saw, Eniola Badmos was approached by a good Samaritan who wanted to give the sum of 500,000 Naira via her Instagram platform to help cushion the effect of the lockdown, of course, caused by COVID-19 in the country. She, however, held on to the sum after the sponsor refused to pay her 150,000 Naira for the giveaway services. To worsen the case, Eniola Badmos allegedly blocked the sponsor from reaching her. In response to the allegation and outrage, the actress has responded via Twitter page saying, the incident has nothing to do with taking advantage of people or discouraging the need to give out, especially using my platform. This particular person indicated interest to do a 500000 naira giveaway, and I felt there would be extra costs for bank charges and stamp duty, which I wasn't going to bear the transfer charges for that. So I asked, him, I asked that he bear it. But in scenarios where people engage you as an influencer to drive giveaways from a business point of view, then business conversations need to happen end of quotes mm. okay i'll say this um <laughs> whenever, whenever you do that before you start <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not okay it's okay um when i saw this just when, say it it looks like she thought about that response to me okay because from the text messages it wasn't clear she repeated it twice about 150 and she said i will charge 150 i will charge 150 um I might be wrong, but it didn't seem like she genuinely thought about bank charges in that conversation because if she did, she would have explained that. Like, if I'm coming to you to say that I want to give my money to people, like, it's, you can't then make it about yourself and say I would, um, you know, charge or whatever because then if that's not what you wanted to do, you would have used a different language. Like, you would have said, oh, they're going to charge me or break it down or say, how do you actually want to spread out? Because I started to do the math, and, which I don't really do. <laughs> I started to do the math and even think that, let's say she was even giving like 5K to how many people mm -hmm. and the bank charges are, if it's the same bank, which will happen in that, how many people you're going to well, give let's it assume to? They're not let's the say they're not bank. the same so bank. It's five naira, right? Yes, if it times that, it's still, like even if she gave about, I think about, let's say I checked, about 50 people, mm -hmm. it still wouldn't even get to up to like 70K. Mm -hmm. So um, doing the math, I... I I'm not, I don't see any problem with asking for money in regards to that. I mean, make your money, girl. It's lockdown. But um, the response to me on Twitter didn't really vibe with what I saw in that text message. Me, I don't see anything wrong with uh, asking. And I think um, the reason she gave for asking for 150K was even less than what she would have said if, if she said, oh, it's business. You want to use my platform. I'm not saying you shouldn't give out your 500K giveaways. Like someone reaching out to LC now saying, oh, we want to use your platform to give out 500K. There's nothing wrong with you saying, okay, for you to use my platform, I'll do it yeah. for you, but pay me 200 Gs. It's business. Business is business. This is lockdown. Everyone is affected by this whole COVID-19 stuff. And if me making money online is the only way I'll make money, by all means, I'll do it. I really don't care if you are using it for uh, to cushion the COVID-19 um, effect on people, which is a very good motive for you to be giving out money. But at the same time, I'm also a sufferer of the mm. COVID-19. Do you understand? So while you're giving to people, think about me, the giver. Mm. Do you understand? So there's absolutely nothing wrong But do you think that, that her story about... Bank no, that's why I said it even made it less, mm. like, it didn't really... It watered it down. Yeah. Like, I wish she just came out like, yes, I asked for 150 because It's her, business. In her, in because her, she said it. In her it screenshot, yeah. that's what she was doing. She was asking for 150 And I said like, that. Even I'm when she said it, she said business is business, right? So if... Or she said something... No, she said something yeah, about something business. She said like, if it was coming from a business um, person or... So then yeah, so make it about business and don't come out with the old oh, bank charges. But the bank charges as well is valid. Like you said, you said 50 people is um, like, it's not up to 70K. So it would still be close to, so am I supposed to make just 10 Gs? Mm. And that's why I've said she should have been honest about it. Yeah. But I mean, the to me, that, that response was reaching. Um, I think it's a bit more sensitive though, because if they're, the two of them, the person that's giving and the person collecting are not genuine as far as I'm concerned because him too was insisting on his name and all of that type yeah. of stuff. And so make it what it is. Like, well, I'm not expecting him to be Jesus Christ and like save the, the entire universe, but be honest and own and own it. Like say, okay, this is a business transaction. I want to help people, but can I, do, what I'm doing that, can I get some fame? And you're saying, okay, I will help you. I will allow you to use my platform, but while I'm doing that, let it's me make like some coins. It's not like you want to eat your cake and have it. 
Well, I mean, before COVID-19 or the lockdown, this has been a line of business. And I think I tweeted that yesterday. Like, this is what people usually do. They I don't living. start mentioning names now, mm. but even your top bloggers that you get the top gist from, you go to them, you pay them, you give them a certain amount to even for do a good a cause. Giveaway, and they tell you this certain amount is going to be for their services. And you cannot undermine the level of attention mm. and um, notification they have to deal with to even get the people that are going to be the winner mm. so yes that's the line of business and in my tweet i was clear that um i didn't want a situation whereby other influencers because everybody are hypocrites now they just want to come out and say things to bring other people down and get the retweets that will make them feel like they're getting engagement mm. so i was clear to saying that if you're going to come out to drag and you're bad most in this regard make sure you are not also in that line of business before you come and start sure. acting like she's doing something anybody else is not doing okay, right yeah. and for a lot of people even when that conversation now started from that tweet it was more of okay so this is covid 19 this guy was trying to help and all that and the question is okay so why didn't you give the giveaway from your own page if you're just trying to help mm -hmm. from her own response as well you realize that he wanted the to fame. get a fame from it you insisted that your your hand will be there that part of the conversation was not part of what he put out. So I think this whoever this person is that was doing a giveaway as well has some shady intentions um, um, on his own part and it's just not fair because at f of course he was the one who leaked the DM to start mm -hmm. this conversation and you did not include the part where you were saying your handle mm -hmm. must show and you're and already getting this... the fame. So it's just crazy. I, I don't I don't know what he plans to gain but at the end of the day those who still want to use Enola Badmos um, platform for giveaway will still go to her for giveaway and pay herself charge because mm. as far as i'm concerned there's no point of back charges and uh, stamp yeah. duty just call it service charge yeah. it is what it is <clears throat> and that's okay and um the thing is um some of this what's it called giveaway they'll tell you for you to win follow this handle yeah, yeah. so i'm sure that's exactly the sponsor. and yeah. they're usually the sponsor i'm sure that's exactly what happened there so it's a scratch my back i scratch your back situation so i feel like she dug herself in, the, in, in um, deeper when she replied and said service charge because she said bank duty ba bank charges, bank charges. No, it's not like it just watered it down it's no, still it's a, a lie that's excuse. not why she charged 150k she charged for her service yes simple and short so why don't you just say that